Hey, what's up guys? I want to apologize. I have to pan out a little bit to try to get everything in frame here. I'm shooting by myself, so no one on the camera. And I don't like editing, so I'll uh, do my best here. But anyway, I wanted to do a uh, little review, take a look at my new Canyon rifle. Uh, growing up in Western Pennsylvania, I never really had a use for a, a large, large caliber, you know, long range rifle before. I, I didn't really know anywhere to shoot it and it wasn't really useful for hunting so but I've always always wanted a 338 Lapua just you know back when I was a kid just watching movies and stuff I just always wanted one so now that I'm in Idaho I have plenty of places to shoot it. Uh, there's tons of rocks that need to be shot at out there and I can get some really serious range out of it so uh, I decided to go ahead and have one made and uh, it's nothing too fancy but it, uh, it will serve the purpose so I'm uh, just gonna go over it from front to back and just let you know what I did and if you have any questions about anything I'm, I'm still working up uh, loads for it I had to do some fire forming but it is chambered in the 338 Lapua Ackley improved so uh, it's a Remington action uh, it has a Pacific tool engaged bolt it's been kind of fluted and everything uh, it has a Trigger Tech trigger in it. It's the their special model, the Trigger Tech Special. The whole thing's on an XLR Evolution chassis uh, that I had custom painted. Uh, on top here, I have a Night Force ATAC R. It's a 7 to 35 by 56. It's a first focal plane scope. Uh, move on up front here. I have, you can see it real good. The bipod is a Evolution. Uh, bipod by Modular Evolution. Uh, I'm going to do a full review on this. I've used this all season. I had this on another rifle and uh, it, it's a heck of a bipod. But And then I have a 32 inch McGowan barrel uh, with the spiral fluting on it. And on the very end here, I don't know well we can see it, but this is uh, the brake from Christensen's Arms. Titanium brake. So the whole gun weighs a little over 15 pounds. So I was a little leery about that because I'm picturing myself trying to carry this thing around and I was talking to the gunsmith and you know I said you know how do guys usually build them they go ultra light he's like no he's like it's a, it's a canyon rifle so you take it you pack it to one spot and you sit there and you hunt all day long or you camp right there whatever you're going to do he says it's not designed to be packed around which I can understand that being that it's uh, 56 and a half inches long so but uh and then I asked him about the weight and just wasn't sure how, you know, how to do the build. And he says, you want to get it as close to 16 pounds as possible. He's like, there's no point of trying to cut weight on a rifle for that purpose. He says, a 12 pound rifle is just going to kick more and it's still heavy to pack around. So guys do 12 pounds, 13 pounds, and I'll probably be an idiot and try to pack this around with me. But uh, so far, I am really, really happy with the rifle. Uh, like I said, I've only been doing fire forming loads so far, uh, waiting on a couple parts here so I can get the loading for it and get the, you know, figure out a good load and get it back out. Hopefully I'll have it ready for rifle season. But if you guys have any questions on anything or what I did cost wise or whatnot, just uh, send me a message, let me know, and I'll be happy to try to help you out. But so far, so good. Thanks, guys.